Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you really like my teaching, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel, even press the bell button to get the regular updates. In the last video, we have discussed what is an interpreter driven IO and how it will work. And then we have discussed about priority based interrupt driven IO. Am I right? When we have nested interrupts, how it will be executed also we have discussed. And then we have discussed that priority based interrupts can be done with the help of two ways. One is software based mechanism and another one is hardware based mechanism. We have even discussed about the software based mechanism which is polling mechanism. In this video, we want to discuss about one of the hardware based mechanism. You, in the hardware, we can execute in two ways. One is the serial connection and another one is the parallel connection. So let me discuss about the serial connection in this video. One, it is even called as a DC chain or serial connection. Now what is meant by serial connection? All the IO devices are connected in a serial way. Now you can ask me, sir, how this IO device 1, IO device 2, IO device 3, how you are connected? based on their priority. This device has the highest priority as compared to this device and compared to this device. So they have ordered based on their priority. Then you can ask me, sir, how this communication will happen? Now let's take that. Let's take a simple example. All the three devices, okay, has given an interrupt request to the CPU. Then if the interrupt request is given by anyone, but however it was given by everyone, so interrupt signal will be enabled. Am I right or wrong? Are you able to understand? Any IO device can give an interrupt. Let's take in my example, I am telling that all the IO devices have given an interrupt. This is the highest priority device, then next, then next. So this is the IO device 3 has the least priority. Now we will see how it will. Once the CPU got the interrupt, then it will send the interrupt acknowledgement in this way. Now who is receiving this interrupt acknowledgement? First IO device 1 has got the interrupt acknowledgement. Once this IO device 1 got the interrupt because even it has also given the request, it is also given the request, it is also given. As it is given this request, it has received the interrupt acknowledgement. Everyone has given but it has got first. Once it got the interrupt acknowledgement, then it will send its interrupt service routine address. Are you able to understand? The starting address of the interrupt service routine is given by the IO device 1 and then it will send the 0 as an output. Then what is the meaning if this IO device 2 got the input as 0 as an interrupt acknowledgement, then it is meaning is that CPU cannot perform its interrupt. Similarly, interrupt device 3 also get the input as 0 because once this one has got 0, even it will send to this one. Then what it will understand currently CPU cannot execute my interrupt. Why? Because interrupt was executing, CPU was executing the interrupt of IO device 1. Now what will be the problem? Let's take that in the next example. IO device 1 and IO device 2 has given the interrupt request. IO device 3 does not given the interrupt. However, the interrupt will be enabled. The request has got by the CPU. Now the CPU what it will do? It will send an acknowledgement. To whom it will send the acknowledgement? To the device 1 it will send the acknowledgement. Once the device 1 got the acknowledgement, what it will do? Because it has asked for the request, then it will send the starting address of its interrupt service routine and it will send the 0 as an output to the device 2. Then what the device 2 has to do? It has to wait that I did not get the CPU for to execute this my interrupt. So what is happening? If IO device 1 is requesting and other devices are also requesting, the IO device 1 only will got the interrupt acknowledgement and it will execute its interrupt. So this problem we will call it as a starvation problem because always the high priority device is executing its interrupt and the low priority devices are keep on waiting. So this problem we will call it as a starvation problem. So I hope you have understood how the serial communication is working and what is the starvation problem. 
If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask the doubts in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. In the next video, we will discuss how this parity based mechanism will work in the parallel connection. In the, this one is serial communication. In the next video, we will discuss about the parallel connection. Okay, so please press the like button if you really like my teaching. Share the videos with your friends. Subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.